Hey there, creative friends. Well, I'm back on this G2 fiber laser and doing some testing on black acrylic today. And for whatever reason, black acrylic, um, especially with a fiber laser, comes out with this white marking that will not rub off. Uh, so it's very unique to black acrylic and it's a, it's a lot of fun. So I'm testing this out here and I've got this little tag that I actually used a CO2 laser to cut out the tag and I'm doing this image of a daffodil on the tag. I had already done it on that piece of acrylic underneath and then put my little tag right on top. Acrylic smells really bad, <laughs> um, so I do have my inline fan going here to suck out some of the um, smoke and the odor, but uh, it goes so fast. Okay, and here's the settings I use just so I can document this if I ever need to come back and look at it. I'm not sure that I really have these settings dialed in perfectly, so uh, just maybe use this as a starting point and then definitely do some of your own testing. So this on the left-hand side is just for the image, and then on the right-hand side as far as the speed and the power and the frequency. Uh, and again, I had bumped up the speed there just to get it to go faster. I think it would look better if you do it just a little slower, probably at a thousand. Um, all right. And so I had used the CO2 laser to cut out the black acrylic. And then I wanted to wrap around a wooden frame just to make it look a little nicer. And so those pieces are, uh, were all cut out. And then this is the finished daffodil. And so then I am also, oh, well, this is going to fit really snug, um, so I'm able to pop this in a little bit later. And I ended up uh, tinting that wood, uh, staining the wood with a uh, light brown stain. All right, and then I decided to try a different technique on the back. So instead of like a clip art drawing, I'm actually using a photo drawing of some daffodils. And um, again, here just zooming in on some of my tests on this bigger test piece of acrylic. Those, those came out decent. Again, I, I've had a lot of trouble dialing that in. Some of those uh, really dark patches are where it was actually just melting the acrylic. So, um, so I, I do need to keep experimenting to uh, get this to look a little bit better. But these, these uh, photos on black acrylic come out really, really cool. So I had a really good first image, and so then I turned my tag over and placed it over just to uh, line it up so I can get the, the same parts of the image on my tag. And uh, for whatever reason, just the second time I'm doing it here didn't turn out as nice. So I don't know if, it, uh, if it's just uh, adjusting the focus since it's a little bit taller. Um, I don't think I changed anything, so I'm using the exact same settings I'll show you here in a second on this photo. Um, but the underneath version, I think, looked a little bit better. You'll see that here in a minute whenever it finishes, and I lift the piece off. But uh, but it, it ended up uh, okay. So I've got like a clip art image on one side, and then a photorealistic image on the back. And so I'm going to make this into a necklace, and you can wear it either way. Uh, again, these images don't take long at all um, to engrave, and this one's almost done. And then I will be able to uh, reach in and lift that up and show you. And then towards the end of the video, you'll see I ended up tinting it with some color. Um, and, and I think it comes out pretty neat uh, there at the end. But see how that image on the base plate looks a little bit better? Uh, for whatever reason, this one came out too white. Um, I think I like that image there better. So I could always come back and cut that out too. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you show you all that, and then in a second I will pop over and let you see the settings I use for the image. Alright, so just real quick here, if you are, are trying this yourself, these are the settings I use for this image. I definitely did do the reversal on this one with the grayscale. And then for the speed, 4000, again, just so I can go faster, but power 10, frequency 30. And those were the only settings that I've uh, worked with. 
All right, and then here we have the finished product. So again, a little bit of stain on the wood and pop that together. And then here's the back. So I was able to use some uh, waxy colored pencils uh, to do just a little bit of tinting here on the back. And I, I think it's gonna stay. So I, I like the look of that. It's kind of like those old photographs that have just a few of the parts of it that are tinted a certain color. Um, and you could, you could make this as dark or as light as you want. Um, but anyway, I think it uh, turned out fairly nice and you get a two-for-one necklace.